we do on YouTube is this is a fun little tune. It's a banjo tune. It's actually a Scruggs tune. Certainly made known by Scruggs. Uh oh, I'm questioning myself. Called Fireball Mail. It's a really wonderful song on banjo and I enjoyed it so much I learned it on banjo a while ago I thought I wonder if I can make an adaption for the guitar that was it I hope you liked it if you are familiar with the original let me know what you thought did you like that now while I've got your attention if you are here to learn this song let me just make one small request at least click that like button because most of my videos get maybe a thousand views as a, as a minimum and yet I don't necessarily see even a hundred likes. So if you are watching the video and enjoy it, just click the like button, it would really help. And in return, I'm actually gonna teach you how to play that song for free if you like, or of course you can join the Patreon, it's gonna be on my website and all those things, but you can sit here and learn it for nothing. All you gotta do, click the like button, maybe leave a comment, that helps as well. I'll bring the camera forward, I'm gonna walk you through how to play it. It's a really cool, technical Travis picking piece. It's not simple, it's not for the faint hearted, but have a go. I'm gonna give you all the tips along the way. Okay, now if you have the transcription, this is uh, bar one going into bar two. So the very beginning, we play the open fourth string, second fret on the fourth string, and away we go. Okay, on this G chord. So all we have to do to play the G chord is put the third finger on this uh, sixth string third fret. So we pinch the six and three, okay? Then we play the fourth string, then we play the six and three, then we play the fourth string, and then the third string immediately after with the finger. So pick, like that. And then uh, we go back to the sixth string, just like that. So the very first entry to the song, pinch, pinch, fourth string, third, six. So we're in bar three now, and we pinch the fourth and second on beat two. Okay, then we pick the sixth string and the third string, we put our second finger on the second fret of the third string. Then we play the fourth string and third string together after lifting up that second finger. Okay, so bar four, we put our, uh, we pick the sixth string and we are, so we're doing a pinch again, which is the sixth string and the fourth string together, okay, with the second finger down on the fourth string on the second fret. Then we play the fourth and third together, open, so lift that up. So I'm using pick and finger and uh, index finger. Then we play the sixth string. Then we play the fourth string, second fret again. Okay, bar five, we're picking the sixth string and fourth string together, open, or the, sorry, the fourth string's open. Then we pick the fourth string just with the pick. Then we play the sixth and fourth string together. And then we put the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Okay, oh, I can hear a helicopter going over. I wonder if you can hear that. So, geez, my guitar signal's low. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go through that really slow. Okay, so that takes us to bar six. We're gonna play the sixth string and the third string together. Then the fourth string on its own. Then the sixth and the third string together. Then the fourth string on its own, rolling to the third. So see how I went thumb and then first? Okay, on the fourth string and the third string. Then you play the sixth string. Uh, so this is bar seven now. And this is rolling. So in my Thumb Pick Boot Camp course, I talk about pinching, rolling. I prepare you for all of this. So if you're really having trouble, Check the course out, I'll put a link below. So bar, I'll play bar six again. Okay, so now we go uh, six, the sixth string, so I'm talking about the right hand here. So six, two, with the pinky down now on the third fret of the second string. Then we play the fourth string open. Then what I do is I'm rolling to the third string as I pluck my pinky off. So I'm picking the third string and taking my pinky off at the same time. This is one of the more challenging bars in this piece. So I'm gonna play into that, bar seven. Okay. And then as I hammer the pinky down, or well you can just pick it actually, that happens as I hit the sixth string. Okay, so watch this. See that? So let's do that again. Uh, one more time, so bar seven. 
pull off the pinky, but play the third string. It's very challenging. Then as we pick the sixth string, we play the second string again at the third fret, okay, with a pinch, okay? Then we just play the fourth string and second string together. Bar eight, we go to this D. So this is the first time the chords really change. We're going to a D slash F sharp. I use my thumb, okay? Here on the second fret of the sixth string, because we're playing the F sharp, which is the third degree of a D chord, hence, you know, working in the bass. Pinky on the third fret here. So I'm just picking sixth string and second string together. Now we play the fourth string open, sixth string, fourth string open. Okay, so now we're in bar nine, we go sixth string, second string, and that's as a roll, so it's a quaver. And I'm gonna instruct you to have your second finger ready here. I didn't get you to put it down earlier, but you probably should have actually, my bad. Let me just, let me just walk through. So when you're doing this bit, a little bit of palm muting doesn't go astray either when you're playing this song, but that's kind of personal taste. Have that second finger there. So coming back to bar eight, just leave that finger there. It'll set you up better for bar nine. My apologies. So bar nine. So six, two, four, and three. Then uh, second string and sixth string together. And fourth string and first string together. Okay, now first string should be left open the whole time. We didn't have to play anything on that string. So let me play, play bar eight and nine together. Okay, and then we're back to a G chord, so we're well over halfway now. If you've come this far, great work. We're doing, uh, we're back to the G chord, but this time you just, you want to play just like a regular G actually. So this can catch you out. If you go like that, you're going to be in trouble later. So grab it like a regular G chord, okay, with the second finger there, third and fourth. So we're now picking, uh, we're pinching six and first, so bar ten. Then we play the fourth string, six and first. So I've got my pinky down there on the third fret. I've also got my third finger there. Yep, actually that's definitely worth having. I was just investigating whether we really needed to have it there. So, so bar 10, six and one, four. Pinch six and one, four, one, six. Four and one, six. Uh, uh, sorry, I should have lifted the pinky. So six and one. And then on beat four of that bar, we're doing fourth string open and third fret on the second string. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, lift the pinky, six and one, four and two. Okay, I'll play that really slow. Uh, 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 uh. So it's all right hand through this one until we lift the pinky. Okay, that's the only complexity of that whole thing is lifting that pinky, at least for the left hand. This little bit's challenging, okay? So now we're into bar 12 and we get this. Okay, that little... So what we do there, after we've played the... Get your third finger to the third fret on the third string and pick the sixth string and third string together, like that. And we have to hammer the pinky down, like that. Yeah, this is challenging. So we pick the sixth string on the third fret. We're still holding that, obviously. We're on the third fret there. Hammer your pinky to the fourth fret, just like that. Then you have to get the third finger off quickly over to the second string at the third fret and play the fourth and second together. Okay, so... And then we go six, four, uh, sorry, six, three on the third string. I said four because our pinky's holding the fourth fret. So, say so the roll, six, three, four, two, all in the right hand there, six string, third string, fourth string, second string. Okay, and that is bar 12, so. So we hit the sixth string in bar 13. Then we play the fourth and first together. And then we play sixth string and third string. And we again need that third fret on the third string. So we need to relocate again. And we do a little pull off. So pinch the sixth and third string. 
hold this here on the on the B flat and roll back to the A. Okay, and then we play fourth and third string together after lifting the first finger. Okay. So that, you know, I guess these two bars are quite challenging as well. Oh, I messed that up, sorry. Favourite part of the song though. So fun to play when you get the hang of it. Took me a little while to figure it out. Because remember, I arranged this. I, you know, No one showed me this. I had to arrange it and I had to sort of figure these ideas out in terms of what would work. So now we get after that bar. So to finish off, we play sixth string and second fret on the fourth string, like that, which you don't see a lot in these kind of arrangements. You know, usually you keep the melody off those strings, but I love sneaking it in there. So on beat one of bar 14, we've got six and four, and then we've got four and three together. Lift this up. So, so with the thumb pick there and the first finger there. So bar 14, beat two's that. Then we've got the sixth fret. Uh, sorry, sixth string. God, I hate when I do that. And then we play that second fret again on the fourth string. We just use the pick. And then get the thumb over. So we're bar 15 now. Second fret on the sixth string and fourth string open. And pinch them together. Okay. So I'll just do bar 14, 14 again. So six and four. Now you get the pick and you hit the fourth string again. And then you do, on the offbeat, you play the third fret. And as you roll to the second, you need to be picking that sixth string again. That takes a lot of practice. You have to say to yourself, nothing's happening till I pick this bang, and I pull off as I pick that, okay? All right, and then we play the open third string straight away. Thumb pick goes across to the fourth string. We hold the second fret there. And then we're picking the uh, a G chord, six, four, and three all together. And then thumb to here, thumb back to here. So we're just playing a thumb pattern now between six and four. And we're in bar 17 now, six string, fourth and third together. Then open, two, and we start again. So those last four bars. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you in the next one.